Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can make some soap for your um, bathroom or for your kitchen counter or whatever you want to use it for. But these are little bars of soap, right? It's a one minute series. It only takes a second to do them. And um, I'm going to show you right now. All right, so the first thing you need to do is get yourself some perler beads or some regular beads, like pony beads or whatever. Okay, then once you have them, you're going to be very, very careful. Put them on the tip of your scissors, just like that. Okay. Now, don't use any good scissors because it may melt the plastic on them depending on what kind it is or whatever. Then I'm just using a micro torch. And I'm going to heat the bead up. Be very, very careful when you're heating it. Okay, once it's heated, you want to open the scissors just a little bit. Okay, once you have it heated and opened, then you want to go ahead and press it down. Be sure not to touch it with your hand until it's cooled off. And it only takes a second for it to cool off. But there you have a little bar of soap. It's got a little indentation on the bottom or you can press it completely flat once it's done. If you do not want it to have a shiny look, you can do that by taking a piece of craft foam and pressing on it while it's still hot. It'll take the glaze off of it and then you'll have a dull look. Okay, and don't overheat it too long because then you'll burn it. But that's all it is to it, to making these. And you can do them any way, any size. Now, certain beads don't melt as easily as others, so you may have to hold it back a little bit in a distance. Be sure not to catch anything on fire while you're doing it, and use extreme caution. And I don't recommend any child doing this project at all. Just kind of mold it around until it's cold. And that's pretty much it. Now this one kind of went a little wonky there, but I pulled it apart too far. But you get the idea. I'll show you one more time. I'm going to use another one that size so you can kind of get a better idea what it looks like. This little bugger wants to move. Again, there it is, a little tiny bar of soap. The smaller the bead, the smaller the soap. Um, the back side will have a crease in it, and that's okay, because you'll just put that side down. But there you have it. I mean, it's like extremely tiny. I don't know if you have regular razor blades at your house, but there you go. There's the center of the little hole and you can see how small it is. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. It was very simple, quick, easy, and um, use caution and craft at your own risk. And I will see you in the next video. Like and subscribe, leave a question, suggestion, or comment below. If you wanna see more videos, click the bell to be notified when I post them. Also check out my website for dollhousetutorials.com for lots and lots of printables. And there's free furniture templates and furniture tutorials, flooring, backsplashes, you name it, it's on there. Check it out. All right. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.